Hi, this is Virgil from Audio 2000. We're here to show you an install that we're doing. It's our first 2010 uh, Rolls-Royce Ghost. We're putting in a K40 system that gives these front and rear radar protection and also two laser diffusers which jam police radar. Pretty elegant car. We've got the trunk torn apart at the moment. So we're running our wires and putting our radar sensor in. And we're also installing the laser jammer, which is right here. The laser jammer is going to mount to the license plate frame, and uh, it'll pretty much interfere with any police radar laser that's trying to pick up the speed of the car. Got to be careful how it gets installed because right here is a camera that gives you the rear view when you throw the camera in reverse, so you can't block the view of that. This is the radar sensor that's going to be placed behind the back bumper. Um, it has to be strategically placed so it's away from any metal so it can be hidden at the same time and still give you good detection when the police hit you with the radar. Now for the second phase of the install, getting the front radar sensor and laser diffuser in place. A little bit more tricky than doing the rear because as you can see, this whole front end is all one piece. Nothing really disassembles and we have to keep the radar sensor away from metal. Well, we just got finished with the K40 caliber system in this new Rolls-Royce Ghost. Let's see how it turned out. Um, way up front, in front of it, is the laser diffuser that goes in the front. And behind this grill, off to the side here, is where the laser, uh, actually where the radar detector ended up going. Let's take a look at the back. So right there is where the laser diffuser ended up, and then the other sensors hidden behind this plastic bumper cover. And there's the trunk all put back together, back the way it, way it should. Actually, there's the sticker on the car. Let's see how much it was. Wow, $306,000 and change. It's a lot of dough. But wait, let's test the system. We have a radar gun here that we use. It's a K-band radar gun and uh, we're going to test it right now. Front K-Band. So you can see the light in the front that flashes. So they're actually a reflection of being on the steering column. But let's test the rear one too to make sure that works. You'll see the lamp on the right go. Go ahead and test it. Rear K-Band. So the K-40 also verbally tells you what kind of radar is being used. And everything's controlled by this small wireless remote. It's a handheld piece, you can stick it on the dash, it's battery operated, but that way nothing needs to be visible in the car. And as you can see, it's a real pristine interior. Not to mention one other feature that I've never seen on any car before, and that's when you put it in reverse, if I can get it in reverse, it has a rear view camera that shows a 360 degree angle of the car. This car has a total of six cameras, something I've never seen before. But that's all for now. Bye.